What's up Eurozones, welcome to the Eurozone and welcome to a super special video because today we are reacting to Dorco's interview with Steelwall. Now, we are a few days away, four to be specific, from Security Breach uh, and I am super duper duper excited for it. Uh, I cannot wait for it to come out. I'm also a little bit scared because I have to make videos for it and it's going to be, I'm going to be all over the place this December, but... Hopefully, it's going to be a good game, and I think it is going to be a great game. Um, but we have some some more information about the game just before the release, so I cannot wait to watch this. Uh, I kind of just want to get started, so um, make sure that you subscribe if you enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I will. Yeah, let's let's begin. <laughs> I love the aesthetic. And welcome to today's interview. We've been waiting for this for such a long time, and I'm so excited to do this with the wonderful Steel Wall, uh, the creators of the upcoming game Security Breach, which is coming out next week. Next week. Yeah. <laughs> two and a half years since it was introduced on Scott's website. Yeah, wow. Um, really, it's really been excited. so long. Um, I just want to give you guys like a massive round of applause. Don't worry, I'll put in some audio in the atmosphere. Let's give you guys. A I'll also add to the audio. <laughs> um, what's going to be something mind blowing? Like I've yeah. seen the trailers and everything for the past two years. It looks insane. Uh, you guys saw our reaction to it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all really excited for this. And Jason yeah, so and Ray, thank you so much and for then this. We'll get straight into it. Uh, my name is Jason Topolsky. I'm one of the uh, co-founders, co-owners of Steel Wool, uh, project director, creative director for the studio. And? And I'm Ray McCaffrey. I'm an oh, executive producer for all things Five Nights here at Steel Wool. Woo! Awesome. Yeah. So like I said, awesome, guys. the release is coming up very soon. Are you guys excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very excited. I think, it's, I think it's all of the feelings. I think it's uh, I think it's the excitement and the the oh, everyone's gonna play. Yeah, it soon. I was about yeah. to say they're probably so very they're scared as well. Things, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited yeah. to get it in everyone's hands. Yeah, because the, the game's been in works for such a long time as well. Um, I think this is like the longest we've been waiting um, yeah. for an FNAF game. Um, so yeah, I think it's actually the longest one. Yeah, um, I think I everyone's know, got like, high expectations for it as well. Wanted was in the works, um, but. Was, I hope people won't be disappointed because their expectations are way too high. So uh, that, I don't think that'll happen though. Did you guys face any challenges while making the game? I mean, uh, everybody always runs into challenges with every project. Yeah. yeah. You know, because which ones are you going to get? Mm -hmm. I was just, I was just telling JTOP here, like, this is my twelfth game, and I, I, and I don't think that there's a single game that shipped that didn't have challenges, and this one certainly had its, uh, had, <laughs> had its challenges. Um, you know, thinking on it, you know, I've only been at the studio now for about six months. And when I joined, um, <clears throat> it took two full days <laughs> for the team to take me through the entire Pizza Plex. Two oh full days. Oh my God. Whoa. And um, <laughs> I was astounded because this is an indie game studio. We are a small team. <laughs> this, is a, this is just a few dozen yeah. people. And I didn't think about that. We only had like 12 people when we started. Yeah. And, and what's been built is, you know, it is easily the largest, most ambitious Five Nights game that's ever been built. Um, shoestring budget, tiny team built this incredible, incredible game. Mm. Um, and, you know, trying to build something as grand as, as what we're doing with the team, is, uh, the team size that we have is, um, that is a challenge. Um, mm. Yeah. That's a fun one. You know, it's I'm going to pause right there. <laughs> Uh, it, yeah, I feel like Scott um, had it very different because he Scott started by uh, by making a small game that he didn't think was going to explode, but then it did, and then he had to make a game a little bit bigger than that. He made FNAF two with more animatronics, more kind of um, features to it, and more things you have to do, uh, and then he went even bigger with FNAF three, FNAF four, Sister Location, Pizza Rear Simulator, and slowly he got bigger and bigger, but. Then Steel Wall came in with FNAF VR and they were kind of head first into it. They couldn't make a tiny game like FNAF 1 and slowly go up the steps. Uh, and now they're making Security Breach, which is the biggest FNAF game 
and it seems like they've done a, an amazing job but it must have been quite scary for them with only a team of what 14 people i think they said 12 14 um so yeah that i can see the struggle there <laughs> been a lot of fun bringing this whole thing uh, to fruition so with the challenges do you guys have any like any like the biggest challenge that you guys had if you remember any or anything like that anything like soup that stands out or is I it mean, just a lot <laughs> no to me to me one of the biggest ones was when we started when we started like geez two and a half years ago this is like back during um dread bear yeah right is that um one, one of our other directors evan and i we sat down with index evan. cards <laughs> And we did an over over overhead view of the whole building, right? Mm. This is what the space is, right? This is what we want. These are all different areas. And then we handed that off to our sets guys, and then they took what was a what was a two-story building and they made a three-story building. <laughs> and then we were like, we're gonna keep it. Let's yeah. just add more what? stuff. And we, you know, that was one of those moments where it really exploded into a much The Pizza space. Plex is a three-story building. Yeah. Yeah. It's technically more than three stories now. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yes. Ah! Um, okay. Yeah, I think the uh, I think I think the biggest challenge has been, um, you know, where where do you where do you draw the line on the fun? So it's the job <laughs> on the producer to be like, we need this because it makes the game so special. But do we really need this because we have other things? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. more than a three-story so, building. Uh, yeah. But it would be super cool. It would be, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> we'll be in a meeting and I'll hear something and I'll go, oh, do we have time for that thing? And then by the time it was over, I'm like, I'm going to go away and find time. I'm going to go find a way to make this happen because this would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, well, yeah. what if one of the arcades was also a dance club? Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Please. <laughs> We've got Dance Dance Revolution in the I, I hope that's, that's an uh, There's like a fakey version of one that's around. Okay. <laughs> It's like a biggie one. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I, felt, I think I was going to add on to that. Yeah, I was going to mention the game. Um, I think people found, found that the game was going to be like over 70 gigabytes, which pretty much confirms how big the game is going to be. <laughs> uh. for, the, the, for the size on disc, there's sort of there's two parts to it. Um, so oh, first is, it is huge. The piece of place is absolutely massive. Um, and then the second thing is like, you know, the transparently, we have some optimizations that we've got to do. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we're going to, we're going to try and bring that down. I was going to say, gonna hopefully they launch, are able to optimize it. On, we're going to try and bring that down. Yeah. Um, work on adjusted compression settings, things like that to make people. Okay. That's uh, good. That's good. A bit easier. But, uh, when a game is as big as this mm. one, you really, <laughs> you really, uh, you have to do that sort of thing very carefully. Yeah. Did any of the older FNAF games like uh, inspire security breach? Or That's a very good question. Like that. <laughs> Every single one. Every single wow. one. Wow. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, Scott's Scott's universe is so rich. Yeah. There's so much <laughs> stuff that you want to that you just want to play with, and he, and he, it's really hard to even hit everything you want to. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, <laughs> all the characters, oh. all the locations. You know, the man, just just. Are like they the, bring uh, as the many characters periods, as they can to Security you know, Breach? It's like there's so much that you want to hit and that you want to honor yeah. and you want to use that you can't get all of it. Yeah. So, Suddenly you know, a wave of up. ideas has come for Security yeah. <laughs> that, I think that took everybody by surprise, yeah. by the way. Apart from Matt yeah. Pat, I think Matt, but, uh, Matt Pat did a video on music, it man. It like music, man. So he got it right. Uh, oh, everybody around the studio is, is yelling his little catchphrase now, which is kind of funny. You know, the, the, where he's like, <laughs> music, man. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that was cracking us up. But you know, it's it's technically not Music Man. Okay. Uh, music Man will not be making appearance. DJ Music Man, however. <laughs> DJ Music Is that Man. An upgrade, basically. Yes. Is that an upgrade. <laughs> Speaking about Music Man then and characters, um, do you have a favorite? character animatronic in security breach yeah, yeah. <laughs> dj yeah. music man like... i was like I, it's funny do you want to do this one right first <laughs> yeah i mean i i uh joining the team um i i just feel like i got super close to freddy and yeah. so i'm just sort of like i'm a huge freddy fan like um i really like that. the design the, of the, the, problem with the animatronics and like picking a favorite and what makes it so hard is that they evolve yeah as the night goes on yeah. and there's some okay. that are uncomfortably 
<laughs> and those ones ended up being my favorite. So uh, wow, yeah. I was like, for the whole series, definitely uh, Helpy is my favorite. Period. Like, yeah. I will try to work Helpy into everything. Helpy is like my favorite. Bot what about here. Buff Helpy? I used to have it on keychain. Like Scott sent us some merch really early on. That's when we so were cool. With them. And, I, uh, I had this little healthy keychain, and I just drove it to the ground. <laughs> you know, it's like it was just his head and part of his face mixed up, mm -hmm. you know, meshed off, and uh... exactly what he should have been. Uh, but in Security Breach, uh, Sun Sun Moon, the our yes. daycare attendant, yeah, uh, is my favorite. My favorite far. so far as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I'm a sure lot of people's cast... favorites as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially the voice of um, Moondrop. Um, I mean, oh, is, yeah. it, is it is it is it moon drop? It's the daycare I, attendant. Okay, okay. You know, we'll just yeah. say that then. Daycare no, attendant. Was, was yeah, say. that's Kellen. That's yeah, Kellen. Kellen, Goff. Kellen. Yeah, Kellen announced yeah. it. So I'm so glad Kellen is back. Fun sessions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was. I think it was after a Freddy session. We were talking about who we needed for the for, <laughs> for Sun and Moon, and uh, after one of the Freddy sessions, J Top comes to me and goes, "Let's have Kellen. Let's get yeah, Kellen." Yeah. Sun and moon. Yeah, you and have to. Like, oh, yeah, have to. And then the first time I heard it, I was just like, "Oh, great! So now yeah. this thing is going to be even more terrifying than it was <laughs> yesterday." So you, see, you said your favorite character was uh, Helpy, right? Oh yeah. You know what I'm going to ask? Have you guys have you have you heard about Buff Helpy? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so those are hilarious. <laughs> is, is Buff Helpy going to be in Security Breach? <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> oh, they should put it in as like a little Easter egg. That'd be great. Um, so you'll see some helpy. You will. You'll see, see some helpy. helpy. That's good because yeah. helpy is one of my favorites as well. Yeah. I love how helpy. they they seem okay. to be bringing so the whole series together. Um, will there be more characters that we have not seen yet? Yes. Yeah. You have not seen everything. Yes. <laughs> That's the answer to the That's question great. I wanted. Yeah. Wait, that's the answer um, I wanted to that question. It looks like there's going to be, yeah. uh, from the trailer and everything, everybody thought that there's a big 80s vibe within the mall. Um, mm -hmm. Was there a reason behind it being like very 80s themed at all? Or just a choice? You know, it's funny. It's, uh, it's just a little bit, I mean, for the most part, it's kind of because of my age. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I was yeah. one of those kids that in the 80s, when, you know, the original Chuck E. Cheese is open, yeah. This is up in Tacoma, Washington. My soccer team, like, you know, grade school soccer team, every single, you know, every single party we had was at Chuck E. Cheese. It was this cool two story one. I was telling Scott oh, about it, damn. you know. Oh, wow. it was really neat. It was a big one. Um, and I always had all that stuck in my head, you know, for It's always inter yeah, interesting to see really where the inspiration for these kind of games feel. come from. It's and when you grow cool. up in the 80s, you can never forget the 80s. Yeah, I didn't grow up in the 80s, unfortunately. No, but I really like the, the, like the aesthetic of the wall and everything. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Yeah. And I think it just suits FNAF anyway. Um, yeah. That, the, the big neon vibes of course. and everything. Of the 80s so were a big year for question. FNAF, or big decade for FNAF. Does the game... Uh, uh, okay, for, so from the trailer and everything, it seems to hint that the game takes place in just one night. Can you... Confirm it should be, yeah. Uh, talk about that a bit more or deny it or not answer They're not going to answer it, are they? <laughs> There's two ways to go, right? You can make it a five nights in the mm -hmm. one location, right? And this this was something that we worked on early on story-wise. You know, we were talking with Scott about. And what you take the player out and then you come back. And then, like, you know, maybe instead of five nights, it's, it's more of like... Oh one night and each hour is kind of like a major beat yeah right like yeah. there's your there's your like i'm okay with that big five nights i'm okay with right? that it yeah. makes more so sense lore wise that's as well, where yeah. we that's where we went with it which i think works out really really fantastic yeah, yeah. i mean i think i like that i think a lot of people like that. afford that anyway because like in the description yeah. and stuff you say like you have to survive the night um, yeah, yeah so and I the time and, and the clock anyway, has like minutes on it. Ask anyway. So, um, oh, yeah, yeah. And so, to be clear, there's more than five hours. Yes, like, yes, it, yes. Oh, okay. Not... What is your favorite more than five hours? in the mall? If you have one, or is it just everything? The whole mall? <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine, is, uh, um, mine is actually parts and service, uh, which oh. is attached to a very specific warehouse. Um, that is. Uh, 
I cannot wait for people to play. Oh the no! Of the game. They're easily my favorite. Yeah, that that hour is fantastic. A lot of people agree with us with yeah. what Ray's saying. There's a certain warehouse down there that a lot of people oh, are really. I'm about. so oh, no, ex oh, this oh, is oh, getting oh, me so excited. Excited, honestly. My what? favorite is putt putt. You know, okay. Uh, gator golf. Yeah, man. Yeah. If I could go play indoor putt putt at Gator Golf, I would be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a question that was on here. We, we might as well go on to it. Um, yeah. with like the golf and the bowling and stuff um are you able to do those things you should some be able things, to. yes yeah there are some yeah. things that have mini games attached we were expecting that awesome you know you can't like walk into golf and play golf with what's sitting there you know you're gonna get killed you're yeah. gonna get caught by boss. <laughs> 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 but uh but there are stand-up arcades that uh give you some game elements at times Oh, so, awesome. Yeah. You know, and for, for golf, specifically for golf, like one of the ideas there was like, well, do you want to, do you want to play a putt-putt golf game there in that room? Or would you rather play like a heightened fantasy version of what a putt-putt golf course? <laughs> oh my be, God. You know, where you are down at the height of the ball and, you know, we're, you're seeing sets from older games. Why does it sound so cool? Want, oh, know? that's awesome. I'm going to cry. In the game. Will we, as Gregory, be able to make choices or decisions that change things later on? The answer is yes. Yes! Like, yeah. In the sense that there are security breaches, everything that I wanted. You can take them. <laughs> and then <laughs> there are, depending on what choices you want to make and how well you play the game, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you'll have multiple options. Wow! So multiple yeah, endings. End. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah, like I guess for example, one of those one of those choices could be there's an hour where, hey, there are two things that you could do, but you don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go upstairs. Yeah. Or you're gonna go downstairs. Okay. Yeah. And and you have a branching choice at that moment. That that all that's also really good as well because of replayability. So mm -hmm. mm, yeah gonna True. be a lot of replayability in that yeah. which is really exciting yeah we're hoping we're hoping yeah <laughs> yeah it's like uh it's funny because that that matters a lot to some of us like our our lead designer uh brian Furman from the game he and i had worked at uh telltale games before yeah really so, you know it's like giving people meaningful choices and yeah branches my and, god you know, it's gonna be like half yeah, a tale sometimes making uh, the wrong telltale choice game. that leads uh, to consequences right. and stuff I just want to say as well, thank you, because um, uh, a, 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 a couple of months ago we did the charity stream for St. Jude and you guys provided a lot of things and you donated as well. So massive thank you again. Uh, you guys are amazing. See you all are really so amazing. Um, and thank you for doing it. Like, yeah. I mean, it's so great that, you, that you're doing these regularly and getting so many people involved and, you know, you know we've been watching you do it before we ever <laughs> got involved with you, Aww. but you know. <laughs> it's fantastic. You know. I like how they're like all big fans like of each other. <laughs> it's great. Uh, <laughs> so you provided some interesting posters, okay? And it's got a lot of people Please. excited and uh, questioning things. What's, <laughs> what's my the toes. deal with the Fred Bears Family Diner posters? It existed. Okay. At some point in history. Yeah. yeah. Right? Wouldn't you like to know more? I would like to know more. I would love to know more. <laughs> <laughs> Boss fights, question mark. There's more in Security mm. Breach. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> and... Yeah, we've got, um, you yeah. know, the, the the animatronics. You you will have some choices. And yeah. You can, you can, if you think that you've got what it takes, you can choose to take... <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Really? Each one's unique, which is really cool. That yeah. Was something that's cool. Yeah. I'm really excited so to see that. Multiple and each one totally different than the next. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We're trying. You know, we're doing everything we can to honor the series. Yeah. Right. And at times, you are in a room in an office, closing doors, mm -hmm. and you know. Yeah, I think I've, we we got that from the trailer. Roxy, whoever trying to get in. Yeah. And other yeah. times, you're stuck as Gregory in a place 
mm. with one of those bots. Is there yeah. going to be like a yeah, character yeah, switch where you play as Vanessa? In the future, I don't think so, but multiplayer have you have you guys ever thought about that in the back of your minds at all i mean i've certainly thought about it we've talked about it um but nothing nothing concrete right yeah now. i don't think uh, it needs multiplayer i mean as game developers and having made multiplayer games in the past like we talk about it all the time mm -hmm. uh, the thing about multiplayer and you know just kind of go back to one of the earlier things i said like that is an undertaking that is a that is an undertaking and again we although are imagine multiplayer where you're in each of the animatronics uh, and you fight each other or something, something that uh, <laughs> security breach battle royale series mm -hmm. uh, and and is a fun fluid experience uh, it's complicated so um yeah. know, we talk about it every once in a while There's nothing no no concrete plans i'll throw one thing in there though just for fun and because i love you and i think this will be a lot of fun is uh, when we were working on Help Wanted, we actually did a couch co-op multiplayer mode that never got right. finished. It, it never made it, yeah. but we were playing what? with it. Um, where, you know, yeah. one person is, one person is, you know, sitting in the middle of the room and all the other player, and they've got the headset on and all the other players are in controllers. But they've got the bots and they're trying to jump scare the player that's gonna that's kind of so cool. the and it was fantastic i've seen yeah, fan I games like that talking about that ages ago because somebody <laughs> found it in the files or yeah something. yeah oh, of course they did yeah um i think it was was it called flashlight freeze uh yeah it probably was yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I remember talking about that and everybody yeah. was like oh my god we might be getting wow. multiplayer in the future oh yeah oh, yeah it's crazy <laughs> we even had a character select screen that was like it was kind of like gauntlet with like the four you know player strips yeah and it had like the it had the curtains so it was kind of like uh super mario 2. <laughs> yeah. oh my god yeah it was pretty sweet it's awesome. yeah that would have been cool well there you go guys we want to bring that one know. back here's an interesting one as well um are we able to just take a break from being chased chased uh, by creepy animatronics and just have fun and enjoy ourselves <laughs> you know really when you find like these these mini games these arcades yeah yeah those do lock you into the game so you can okay. play the game comfortably and not worry about you yeah know, not worrying about time up on. Yeah. yeah will That's we cool. ever get dlc for security breach so that is something that we're talking about right now what um so we're we're starting to make some plans um there's nothing concrete yet um but we've got a lot of ideas we're collaborating with scott on it um, there's, uh, you know, Dreadbear in particular had such a positive response yes, to it. Yeah, um, we'd be, amazing. We'd we wanted be more. Silly not to keep yeah. people more exactly. Of, uh, exactly. More of security breach. So yeah, we're we're laying down plans right that now. That sounds amazing. Um, that sounds so good. Start I don't know what they would do, year. but it sounds um, so cool. And then, uh, yeah, in the meantime, you know, we're gonna be um, we're gonna be you know patching the game. Um, mm. We're going to continue yeah. to do things like quality of life improvements and performance improvements and things like that. So um, there will be small patches. These guys are so cool. I, that, I love it. Um, things that we want to change that we didn't get to. Um, little things here and there. Um, so you'll see that stuff um, in the next few months. Just upgrades, updates, mm -hmm. quality stuff. Cool. And then DLC after that. Yeah, that's amazing. Because Dreadbear was so good, like, honestly. Yeah. I just want to say that to you guys right now. Dreadbear was so good and i feel like that dlc allowed you guys to just like experiment and do like mm -hmm. do ideas and stuff without having to you know do the original fnaf games if that makes sense it led you to be yeah. more creative yeah yeah the, the pizza plex is huge and there's no shortage of stories that we could tell so here's an interesting one We've got a cool one here so princess quest uh back in what last year last year yeah, they last year. Yeah. Help wanted for mobile devices. Okay. And <laughs> what's the there question going to be? Interesting mini game that was included called Princess Quest. Now I remember at I the time look. there was a stone door that could never be opened, and a lot of people were thinking, "Oh, um, how are we how are we ever going to be able to open this? Is this going to come back in the future or anything? So, will we ever be able to open it?" They're going to say no, aren't they? What do you think? Uh, so Fazbear Entertainment, <laughs> this is all, is all knowledge of said Princess Quest or or uh, rumors of sequels. Okay, that pretty much answers it then. From the trailers, oh, uh, we damn noticed it. that Freddy <laughs> is damn very it. supportive with Gregory 
um, helping him, guiding him. You know, you can yeah. go inside of his yeah. stomach and roam around the location without getting detected. Um, yeah. So, why is Freddy a good guy? Wasn't Freddy always a good guy? <laughs> no, Foxy's the good guy. You know, there was there was a point we were talking with Scott, and we were talking. I mean, it's a couple of years back about ideas for sequels, and and we were and we were all we were all kind of saying, wouldn't it be nice if we had Freddy as a protagonist? Mm -hmm. You know, how interesting. Cool would that be? Like, hey, what if what if there's? A I like kid the way they, they've gone kid, with it. Yeah, you know, yeah. like that's. And we, we started to kind of, you know, we were talking about other things like, oh, you know, the, there's an old man that's helping you that's like a security guard. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's, and it all kind of and morphed together at some point into this like, we want us, we want a game where Freddy is the good guy. Yeah. yeah. And when uh, you look at Gl Glamrock right, Freddy, he doesn't look all that scary. Yeah. I can't imagine uh, like a, why not? a jump I think scare of him. Mechanic, um, but all the, all the rest of the Glamrocks I can. The location, uh, the mm -hmm. animatronics there. If yeah. you went inside those stomachs, you die. You get murdered. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. nice to have a, an animatronic that has yeah. a stomach like this where you're actually safe and not, yeah. you know, of course. Yeah. And, you know, actually, that, that's one thing I always loved is I, I loved uh, the interactions you have with Circus Baby. Yes, yeah. You know, where it's like, can you trust her or not? Mm. Or, you know, like, she's a great character. That's going to be that's, something to do with Vanny that's why and I that. think she's one of the fan favorites, you know? Yeah. It's like, you know, awesome. there's a lot of depth there. Yeah, there is. There is. What are you, like... But from when we did the charity stream again, you guys sent memes and stuff, which were amazing, by <laughs> the way. Like breakdancing Freddy and Ro uh, Roxanne and stuff. 10 out of 10. Um, uh, so what what are your thoughts about the memes in the community? For example, have you guys heard of the Goongalar? <laughs> <laughs> Me? I heard it from you. <laughs> <laughs> Being That's you so funny. Is, is like the most, in, it, it, you made it. If you have memes about something that you're working on, like you've absolutely made it. Like <clears throat> True. The, the problem though with the memes is we'll be in a meeting and somebody will pull up the Gungalar in the meeting and go, Hey guys, look what I look at the community's throwing around. Like, yeah, check this out. And the whole meeting gets off topic. And now <laughs> and, then, and then we end up spending half an hour talking about whether or not we can put the Gungalar in the game. And finally it's gotta be like, Hey, it's probably Probably not. Probably. Wow. Have to pass on that one. The thing yeah. I like about these guys oh, is they oh, seem like completely regular guys. Yeah. 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 The, cur the curse yeah. of Goongalar. Like they Should they seem like to that. interact with the community a lot <laughs> as well. The game I respect now, them for doing the interview. Versus the game in its original scope. Ooh. And how how uh, yeah, you're how much has it changed? How big has it changed? Yeah. It's just got bigger. 10x. Yeah. Ten yeah. times as big. Oh, wow. It's just it's, it's incredible. I mean, even from when I joined to what's coming out, like. I mean, you can like, tell by the release date, like going back a million game. times. Uh, it just, it has, it has come so far, and even the short time that I've been here, and mm. it, 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 it's just impressive. Yeah. Yeah. How, how quickly and how well this small team uh, <laughs> was able to pull together, uh, probably my favorite game I've ever made. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it it. And he worked on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> so, you confirm his security breach is better than Mortal Kombat. I think I think that's security <laughs> merged into one. I was about to say, there's got to be some Mortal oh, Kombat and security breach. That would be breach. my favorite game ever. Oh, here's, here's one that a lot of people have been asking. So, do you guys have a price of how much it's going to be? I've already heard about rating? this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, the game's going to be $39.99. Nice. Uh, and and, uh, That's a really good price. The ESRB rating to be team. Awesome. Will Glitch Trap make a return? The figures right there. <laughs> I mean, that counts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you don't have to answer any of this, right? But I'm going to give you a theory. I'm going to give you a theory right now. I think Glitch Trap will return. I think it's pretty obvious that he will return. Yes. Okay. Um. Somebody found out, you sneaky, sneaky people, in the uh, the Security Breach cartoons, somebody combined, um, like, the, the glitches, and it made Glitch Trap. 
That's very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I mean, uh, I it's mean, coming back. Like, again, you, you don't have to. You don't have to say or not. But I think uh, I think most people kind of know that it's going to happen because, like, the, the end of Dreadbear as well and stuff like that. Like, um, well, so that was in the cartoon. Uh, yeah, the, the cartoon. Huh. There was like. Um, <laughs> don't. Do you know what I'm talking about or not? Are you tease him. Huh. What's really cool about the cartoons, uh, actually, is that if you've been paying close attention to them, you're already playing Security Breach. Okay. Will Showtime ever return for Security Breach or future games? So, you know, there could be some sort of Showtime, but not as what you expect. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What's that mean? I I was very very happy with the that original song that that people found. I oh, know. I oh, know. Alan Alan Simpson, who's uh, who's done music for this game as well, uh, did that did that one. I cannot wait to hear the and soundtrack. He actually, it's about so the good. Simpsons that he did do some songs on the Simpsons, which is funny. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. He's an improv musician that does like on stage improv shows. Yeah. You know, like hey, do something in the that's style sick. of. And everybody's singing, and he just like he's magic. He's just amazing. Wow, oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun developing that song with him. How fun has it been making FNAF games? Oh, it's been a blast. Oh yeah, it's yeah. so much fun. It's yeah. like, especially as like a newcomer uh, to to the franchise, like the number of times where I have to stop and I have to ask someone, like, "Hey, if we do this, doesn't it affect?" All of these other little pieces yeah, 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 here. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's just, and then I have to hear a dissertation on um, <laughs> by Scott Cawthon. The history of, uh, the history of FNAF. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We hours. can't have that pattern on the sock. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hold on. Yeah. The, and then the, honestly, like, just the community. I like, you know, I, I've, I've, yeah. I've seen really, I've worked with really passionate communities before, but nothing. Nothing even close. Passionate is a very good word. <laughs> to the FNAF community. It's like, good and bad. Just, it's, yeah. Everything about the folks that I that I see online just yeah. just they love the franchise. They love these characters. They've grown up. Maybe not the, the theorist character. side of it. But... Yeah. And that like that is an inspiring thing because that means yeah. that if we don't care about them, we're not doing everybody who loves these games a service. Mm -hmm. And that's like yeah. our job. Like yeah. the job is not to produce games. J Top's job is not to be the creative director of a game. Our job is to build something that people yeah. will of love. Course. That is our job. Yeah. Yeah. And if um, the whole team feels that way. We all we all, we all approach the job that way. And so um yeah, it's a it, it it's an honor, and honestly, I'm hoping that hoping everybody loves the game as much as we do. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome! It's a it's amazing that the artwork that you see, yeah, you know, yeah. the videos. You it's see great when make. they put their heart yeah. into, like, oh, into my games. Dear Lord. It's great. <laughs> like we you can really but, feel I mean, it. <laughs> when I stop playing the game at night and I try to go to bed, you know, I'm like, <laughs> we looking at my phone, going through Reddit, yeah, and just seeing like all the amazing stuff yeah. everyone's doing or or just people's ideas and I, I don't know these days i mean when i was little everybody knew the same shows because you yeah. know you had five channels on tv you know a, a movie would be in the theater for a year <laughs> you'd see it multiple times everybody knew the same same references always but in like the last 10 years or so it's gotten harder and harder and harder because you can go online and you can find one weird little niche thing and if you're into it you can just find like all I want to ever listen to is um, synthwave '80s style. Yeah, yeah. You can find like YouTube videos for like years. Yeah, of just yeah, that. yeah. And so to have people that are coming together and and have been talking about this one, you know, this one IP, and they they love it so much, and that's just great. I mean, I have a kid. Like my daughter is eight. She's been, you know, a huge fan since she was like four. Yeah. Wow. You know, I was when I go and take her to school and whatnot and look at the backpacks of the kids, and it's like Freddy's, 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 Freddy's. <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's like what? it's amazing. That must be amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So nice. I worked at Pixar for 14 years and I worked on tons and tons of stuff that my daughter doesn't give a crap about. <laughs> oh, <you're Pixar. laughs> When, right. When, but, when but I found like... out you worked at Pixar, I fangirled, man. I fangirled hard. Oh, that's oh. We'll talk sometime. We'll have to talk. <laughs> but like, but, but like, my daughter's like, oh yeah, I saw that. That's great. Yeah. Oh, Freddy's. No. What are you guys doing for Freddy's? Oh, that's, Freddy's that's, so cute. Yeah. that's the one. <laughs> because we we were talking about the era, like you were the '80s era and stuff. Uh -huh. I was like, what? 
early 2000s and stuff so like finding nemo the incredible yeah. and stuff like that yeah. so oh, yeah. it's kind of, it's really weird that i'm talking to somebody who worked <laughs> on those things like i watched as a kid all the time like i love the incredibles uh, I, that's I crazy yeah. costu costume oh that's awesome. I got my, oh that's awesome i've got my uh, incredibles tattoo oh nice there it is <laughs> <laughs> i got that at the animation rap party oh that's awesome yeah will there be any easter eggs in security breach it, it, it's funny we have um a lot so we've got you know because of the deep lore and because of the history there's a whole bunch of stuff that we were we were able to do that was a lot of fun yeah um i don't know do you want to that, that must be the best part of game creation got, like all the easter eggs and stuff oh you go for it so the um so as we're as you know as we're building the game uh you know i get an email from scott and he says hey put this stuff in the game and i i i, I look at it all i i, I I examine it as a producer would do, and I say, I have no idea what any of this means. He goes, yeah. Put your name. <laughs> That's so I, cool. I, I know. <laughs> uh, cool. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, like, on top of the uh, on top of the fun things that we did, we've got a bunch of stuff. Um, it's all really, <laughs> it's really, really interesting stuff. Cool. Um, and so, yeah, there's there's no shortage of things to discover in the pizza place. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I say, one thing that that you've already called out like in videos you know so far is noticing the uh, arcade skins in the background yes. yeah <laughs> there are a lot there's a lot <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. yeah yeah the and the majority of them came from sky mm -hmm. and his okay. and he's, he's got a team of artists right and so ah. they do all sorts of great easter egg stuff like it's fantastic i'm gonna have and too much to cover of, like, when we were going well, we have to do a whole bunch of skins. Hey, everybody in the studio, just come up with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we made like we made ridiculous, ridiculous arcades. Oh, There's some no. silly stuff. <laughs> so everything you guys have been saying about Easter eggs and stuff, like this game, is gonna be. It's so big. it's yeah, um, it's gonna be big. Do you, so let's say if I was doing a let's play. Mm -hmm. How long is it gonna take me to be, like do everything? <laughs> everything. Well, man. <laughs> I was trying so last night I was trying to do a, like a comprehensive playthrough mm -hmm. where I got every single collectible and I started at nine and it was like 1 30 in the morning and I was like okay I'm gonna stop now <laughs> you know I, I I was still like I was not so four and a half hours <laughs> and I was like man I haven't I just haven't found everything yet I, I'm, I'm trying oh, to remember. Where that's I a long time. Stuff, you know? And he created <laughs> yeah. the game. Like, he helped <laughs> create, create the game. So he knows where everything is. How long it takes to beat everything in the game is a complicated question. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. a lot of variables. Like, of course. Yeah. For, for the completionists, it's going to take a long time. Like, it's going to take a long time, not just because of the size of the pizza books, but also because, like, it, it's a FNAF game. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. it's a challenging point. Where it's like mm. you wanna, you really wanna go for it. Oh damn! There's gonna be some hard, hard moments while playing. Yeah. Am I gonna, am I gonna rage? Oh yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope so. <laughs> That's their job. So if he doesn't rage, they've done a bad job. Oh, good question. It's a very good model. That's that's good. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's understandable. That's completely understandable. <gasps> oh my god, yeah. It's like a movie poster. It's so good. Yeah. It has. It really has. That would be cool. I would love to watch that. That sounds very cool, actually, yeah. I would watch that. Yeah. It's so, yeah. Compared to the other ones. It, 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 it looks so good. Yeah. Big heart. <laughs> yeah, big props to Scott. Or three, <laughs> or more. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it can't end. <laughs> I think it's only the start, yeah. Yeah. It's big. It's very big. Wow. This is unreal. This is unreal. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. That's, that's amazing. Mm. That's so sweet. Yeah. Come on. Come on.
<laughs> Pizza flavor cotton candy. What? Yeah, very grateful. <laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> or FNAF land? Are they going to make an IRL FNAF world? <laughs> There's going to be That clip is just so great. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because it's so big. I might do that. I might do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I feel the same. I'm very intimidated. <laughs> I'm super duper pumped. Seventy gigabytes. <laughs> Oh. Wow, that, that was a very good video. Oh my god. There's so many things to talk about there, but uh, I don't have the time. <laughs> I clearly don't have the time. Um, wow, that was just... I'm mind blown uh, by what's going to be coming in Security Breach and the game hasn't even been released yet. Uh, this was a great way to get me hyped for the game uh, and I'm sure everybody else is getting hyped now as well. Um, so yeah, all that's left to do is wait for the game's release and play it. Oh god. <laughs> anyway, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I will be doing, we will be doing, doing some, uh, some gameplay videos and theory videos as usual. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Goodbye.